Hello and welcome to the Solid Cab Fusion 360 Cabinet Library. I made quite a few cabinets, about 31, to form a foundation of making any cabinet in Fusion 360 using the new Fusion 360 configurations. One of the interesting things about the configurations is that I can turn all the assembly holes off. HD stands for high definition, or it could stand for hole drilling. So I'm turning off the holes. Why would I want to turn off the assembly holes? Perhaps I want to do some drafting in a third party draft, third party program, and I don't want to see all the assembly holes. So I made a uh, option for that. Also, I can choose a different drawer style shaker. All right. This is a basic case. Not much here, but for all the floor components, we are able to change to different support styles. We can have it open or we can have it integrated. And again, of course, we can choose how many of the assembly holes to do. One door, one drawer, all right? A, a door, a drawer cabinet with a hidden drawer as an option. However, I did not make this option part of the configurations. If you want to delete the hidden drawer, just delete it and save it as a separate file. Let's see our configurations here. Right pull top system, okay. Right left pull. It may take a little time. Is it my computer? Is it the cloud? All right. It adjusts the handle. It adjusts the spacer for the, the hidden drawer because of course the runners for the hidden drawer need spacers for the hinge. left half that means that the top drawer is going to be half the size of the of the whole cabinet or whole carcass there we go left third all right so if all your cabinets were on a three drawer system, then that would be available. Blind left, there's also a blind right. Lots of configurations. I can determine what levelers to use, levelers are integrated or open, the door style, whether we want the assembly holes on, and the drawer size. We might want the top drawer to be a quarter height. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm not sure if enough happened there. So just doing this video allows me to update certain things. All right, similarly, we have the lazy corner. That also has, also on all these, uh, com all these uh, cabinets, we can choose what sort of, what sort of uh, pull we want. Switch configuration, we're gonna switch it to the T pull, the T style. Let's see. All 
All right. You might be familiar with this. I want to add more styles than just the two or three that I have. I have a knob style. Let me see that. Switch configuration to the knob. Hopefully it works the way that I want it to. Okay, the sketch is still there, so we can we can turn that sketch off. There we go. All right, I'm just going to get back to what we had before. The upper corner, blind left, blind left up. This is the upper cabinet. And we have a whole bunch of others. Even a spice rack, spice rack, trash. All right, so here we have the, the trash drawer. And um, now for the the actual slide, it is a uh, you know it's not the same as a Blum tandem slide, uh, it, but the configuration of it with its uh, drilling mounting holes are the same, and the allowance, the runner allowance between the the gable and the side of the drawer is the correct distance. If you want to subtract the drilling bosses from the, the, the gable, then it will leave the correct hole. All right, I'm using the cut join by components. It's a very cheap add-in that you can, you can buy on the Fusion Fusion 360 add-in store. So I'll just choose that and choose that and then choose the drawer as the component. And it will remove, I'm not sure if I want to remove everything, but press OK and it will leave the correct hole. We could do that also for the hinges as well. So let's isolate. I want, okay, there we go. We'll isolate the, those things and we will have the holes drilled into them. The reason that I made my own slide is so that um, it would shrink to the appropriate distance Let's see the depth here we want. Let's make it, let's make it 14. All right, the way things are, I have already made it parametric so that they adjust to the correct size. So all the drawers are like that. You can see I have <laughs> drawer depth formulas that are quite complex and it uh, adjust for the Blum tandem, which is the similar to the, there's tandem and there's the other one, Movento, right? So um, those formulas are already there for the slider. However, not for side mounted um, runners. You can change. You can change the side mounted. It will change the right space, which is about half an inch. But it will not actually um, put the holes in. So that's something that you have to know. All right. You adjust the library to your specifications, whether you want it with levelers or whether you want integrated kick 
or whether you want a half inch cleat back, that can be done in here. Right now, so it is defaults to the derivative of the case master file. A lot of the dimensions are derived that way, but I want a half inch back and that will appear. All right, half inch back. I'm gonna put that back with the undo. So that is the way that these cabinet pieces work. The library is well made, but it's not perfect. Download the library, adjust it to your purposes, and use it in your kitchen designs.